Hello, I thought I'd make a quick vlog, and this vlog is just going to be about random things that come to my mind. First and foremost, I had a day in which I felt some disappointment, but I'm all better now, and I'm vibing good, vi I'm vibing happy camper. Uh, so yeah, I was vibing all like glum and like upset, not upset, angry, but upset, like sad, kind of, but now I'm vibing happy. Go, 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 sit right here. Okay, yeah, it's a good boy. Anyway, so, um, one thing that it still gets to me, it still gets to me, and this is why I don't hang out with people. One of the many reasons why I don't hang out with people here in Cleveland is that I think there's about nine or ten people that I can count, that I can count, who think I'm interested in them, you know, and, you know, for various reasons, and, um, I'm not, you know, I'm just a very friendly person. You know, I like music. I like thought. Okay, you can't. You can't get in the picture. You can't get in the picture. Soda. No bite, Jackson. Anyway, so I like songs. Baby, you are Anyway, I like songs. I like food. I like words. All that kind of stuff, you know? And some of it is like, I'll give someone something and they automatically assume something. Or, um, someone will be, there'll be music playing or something like that, and I'll like join in and then I, then there. It's, it's all associations. It's all associations. And sometimes it's by accident because I'll give someone something or sometimes it's on purpose. Like someone came up to me and talked to me about my lunch and you know, and then the next time I had the lunch, uh, I heard exactly her words come through my mind as if I'm supposed to be grossed out. Well, I'm not, okay? It's just food. They're just words and they're it's just music. That's all it is. Marissa has a right to be a human being. She's a human being and she's not a sexual person. She is chaste and she has been for many, many years. Okay, so I'm just, that was one of my men saying that. So I'm just going to leave it at that. You know, and because I'm not going to get upset about it anymore. Now I'm just, like, doing it on purpose. Like, here, I'll eat this. And here, I'll sing this. And here, I'll do this. And I'll say this. Because who do you think you are? That you could take everything away from me just because you want to make it an association? I don't think so. So whatever. I'm not going to freak out every day. If you want to freak out because you put an association in my mind, then that's on you. That's on you. That's on you. That's not on me. Hold on. I'm just trying to plug this back in. There we go. Anyway, uh, so that was one thing. I, I was vibing all grumpy about that. But now I'm vibing happy. I'm, vi I'm vibing happy go lucky camper. So, yeah. I'm happy. Anyway, so. Um. Whatever. I'm, not, I'm just going to say one more thing about that. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live my life. The interactions I have with people are very limited. So, I don't care. I don't care if you think whatever you think that I think about you. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, and I don't because I'm chaste. I don't want anything. I don't want a relationship. You know, and, well, 
I don't want a relationship. So, anyway, so that's it. I don't want anything else. I don't want anything from anyone right now. <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, so that's that. And let's see what else. My goodness. This past weekend was, wow. It was difficult because some some serious stuff was happening. And I'm not talking about just words that people were saying to me or things that, no, I'm saying things were happening that were really, really serious. And my men are here to protect me. No one is going to get into an accident with Marissa. You have seen that. Okay, so yeah, people tried to get into accidents with me, and one person almost did, but, well, my men took care of it. Anyway, uh, yeah, wow, wow. You know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, because I, hey, hey, no fighting, that seems a little vicious. You little vicious doggy, no, no. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Anyway, so yeah, um, I forgot what I was saying, so I'll just say something else. Today, I re well, was it today or yesterday? I don't remember. Yesterday, I received in the mail a t shirt I made on Vistaprint. Remember Vistaprint? Vistaprint that I use all the time. To make my t-shirts. And it says. Greater Malonia. Where fashion fits. And it is a. It is an AI generated. Image. Of. Uh, um, AI generated image. Of a fashion design studio. So. Greater Malonia. Yeah I'm bringing it back. A little bit because you know I'm doing sewing. I'm not doing well. Like if right now, if I had to stop and grade myself in the class, I probably sit. Well, no, I did some good things. Like the first few projects, I did well. But there are two projects that are three projects that four projects that are unfinished. But they're just about finished, you know. But like. One project, I, I stopped, and then there was another project, so I just went on to the next project. Then I stopped because there was another project, and then I had to stop again because there was another project. But they're all, all four of those projects are almost done. But the craftsmanship, we made a jacket, and the craftsmanship in the jacket is not that good. Mm, if I had to grade myself on the jacket, I'd give myself a C minus, and I'll show you the jacket because I'm gonna fix up where I made the mistakes. And if I had to grade myself on a purse we made, I'd give myself a B minus. You know, it's it's pretty much done. I just have to pull everything through and put the lining, like tuck the lining in. It's pretty much done. Um, if I had to grade myself on a pot holder we made, I'd say I'd give myself, well, right now it's unfinished, so I'm not going to grade myself until I know what it's going to look like. But we also made a t-shirt, and the t-shirt, I, I think I'd give myself a D, a D on the t-shirt. All the rest of the stuff, I'd give myself an A on, because, um, you know, I, it, it, they all turned out well so but I'll show you and now uh, we're moving on to using a pattern to create things and I have green velvet oh my gosh I can't wait well I might make a green velvet top and well I wanted to make a sleeveless green velvet top so that I could put a jacket over it and, you know, if it gets warm, because it's winter time, and a lot of people have the heat up, I could just take the jacket off and be cool. But, um, a green velvet jacket and a green velvet top matching. So, but I don't know. 
I don't know if I'm going to do it because the pattern I thought was sleeveless actually has sleeves on it. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so yeah. So that's kind of a downer. But, uh, yeah, and that was another thing that made me vibe down. I was like, oh, I was vibing upsetness. But, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm happy now. And, um, so, I, you know, I thought of Greater Melonia because I'm taking the sewing class. That, I think that's where I was left off before the dogs, um, interrupted uh or I had to break up their fight uh but yeah I was I was thinking about Greater Melonia because that's on my vlog and the Lone Wolf vlog and I'm thinking about going back to the Lone Wolf vlog and Greater Melonia you know um I know there are two instances two instances that I saw that were close to Liquid Fab um, Susan Graver on QVC has liquid knit, and then, I don't remember his name, but he's a fashion critic. He, uh, show, he, he goes to fashion shows, and in one fashion show, I wish I could give them credit, because I don't know, we'll fill in the blanks. Anyway, he went to a fashion show, and he said... Someone created this fabric that looks like it's wet and it sticks to the body. So, those are the two instances that I know that, um, that are even close to liquid fab. But neither one of them are what I would create. <laughs> Alright, and on that note, I'm going to this vlog and I'm, because the dogs need to be let out. And I'm going to say, I hope everybody watching... Has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow and things go your way. Alright, bye.